Arnobius of Sicca, Adversus Gentes, Episode 8. Numquid in contrarias qualitates prima illa elementa mutata sunt, ex quibus res omnes consensum est, esse concretas, numquid machinae huius et molles, qua universi tegemur, et contenemur inclusi, parta est in aliqua relaxata, aut dissoluta constructio. Now he begins by using this rhetorical device, num quid, asking a question, expecting the answer no. It's a rhetorical question. Surely not, is one way that this is translated. It's an emphatic form of num. There are two here, num quid, num quid, and at least seven more to follow. Surely, it's not the case. Surely, into contrarias qualitates, into opposite qualities or conditions, Prima illa elementa, those first elements, these fundamental building blocks of the universe, we might say, surely they have not been changed, mutata sunt, numquid mutata sunt. Certainly these first elements have not been transformed into opposite qualities. And then we have ex quibus. The antecedent of ex quibus is prima illa elementa, from which, that is, from these primordial or basic fundamental elements, Consensum est. There is agreement. It is well known that all items, all objects, res omnes, have been grouped together or assembled. This is a participle, concretas. It's feminine, plural, and accusative because it is the predicate of race. Race is modified by omnes, and race and concretas are connected by esse. And this is the fourth principal part of the third conjugation verb concresco, which means to be packed together, compressed. Now the next rhetorical question, numquid, surely not, machinae huius, feminine singular genitive, et molis, same, of this machine, this contraption, and of the mass of it, this mass by which all of us are covered over, unawersi, masculine plural and nominative, the subject of tegemur, which is first plural and passive, from the third conjugation verb tego, tegeret, to cover, and closed in, inclusi, same gender number in case, we are held, surely in no part or in any part, parte in aliqua, it has not been relaxata, loosened or broken up, or it has not been dissolved, dissoluta, uh, run to destruction, you might say, namely the constructio of it. Constructio is our subject, feminine, singular, nominative, and it's very last in the sentence. So in English order, you might say, English syntax, surely the constructio, the composition, machina huias et molis, of this machine in mass, the composition of it, relaxata aut dissoluta, has not been either est relaxata, loosened or destroyed, Parte in aliqua, in any way, in any part, on any side. The constructio of the universe, it hasn't happened. Those things haven't happened to it. And it's a machina and a mol, molis, or moles, molis, by which, qua, all of us are covered and in which we are contained. In other words, the world keeps going on and on since the introduction of the Christian religion. <laughs>